have you ever met a true expert who has never published any of their thoughts? I have not. There is no expertise. There is no professional business without some sort of publication, where, whether it is video or audio or text or images. Experts are paid for what they think and therefore they need to share with others what they think. Not only this is how they get paid, but first of all, publication of your thoughts is how you practice your, your expertise, is how you cultivate it, because it's how you make sense of what you think. And most experts do that with writing. I can't remember who this definition is from, but I heard it once. Writing is thinking in words. And if you don't write, if you and I'll I'll put video, you know, at the same level. If you don't publish, if you don't articulate your thoughts. You're not deepening your own understanding of your thoughts. Now, however, most, I would say most, I don't have statistics about this, but my sense is most professionals, people who claim to be experts, don't publish anything. A large proportion of professionals have never published an article or a blog or a video are scared of it. Why Why is it the case? Why is it that we are scared of doing it, that we put off till tomorrow or next year or next life the work we should be doing in sharing what we think, in exploring what we think? I believe it's because we uh, have an improper, improper or the wrong definition of content publication. Well, first of all, Notice that I use the word publication, not creation, not just creation. Of course, if you publish, it means you've, you've created something. I use the word publication on purpose because publication is about putting something available to the public. And to me, meaningful content publication is like journaling in public. It's like practicing the exploration, the frequent, the consistent um, exploration of your thoughts, of how you make sense of the practice uh, that you uh, that you have every day of solving your clients' problems, solving people's problems around you. If you don't take a moment to externalize the thoughts, you're not doing your job. You're failing your responsibility to deepen the understanding that you have about your own craft, your own profession. So with that, I recently wrote and published uh, my definition of meaningful content publication, and I'd like to publish it again and share it with you. So I'll make it public to, to available to you, and I want to make it public in this video. My definition of, con uh, of content publication is of meaningful content publication is the following. Meaningful content publication is the process of creating and sharing material that deeply resonates with your audience while also helping you explore, clarify, and articulate your thoughts and your narrative. This approach emphasizes genuine self-expression, personal growth, and connection with your audience. Notice how it is very different from what you may have heard, what I have heard in the past, which is, well, content, which may sound a little bit like this. Well, content publication or creation, most people don't make a difference. Content publication is about creating compelling uh, uh, ideas, compelling things, stories, storytelling. It's you know so that you appeal to more people, and so that you have lots of followers and lots of likes, and so that you can turn these people into leads and improve your prof your profitability and 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 make more money out of it. But that's a very to me, that's a very um, shallow definition of this practice. It's a very incomplete one. And 
a very inefficient one because most people with that definition um, don't want to engage in that practice. Who wants to put pressure on themselves to write something with the intent of manipulating uh, their audience? I would rather find joy and find direct benefit into creating meaningful content while also uh, creating a meaningful, authentic connection with whoever might align with this content. And in addition to that, if I go with that intention, I will be more likely to receive feedback and learn from those people interested in my practice and learn whether what I'm saying is helpful to them or not, if it aligns with their current wants and needs, or if I should rather change my strategy, right? So it's uh, my definition, I feel, brings additional layers of values and decrease the barrier to entry because when you create something that deeply resonates with you, you're more likely to enjoy it. And so therefore you're more likely to do it more often in diverse formats, channels with different topics. It's like creating meaningful content is now a creative outlet that is really a pleasant activity that gets you to new uh, thinking territories that may lead you to new ideas, that may lead you to explore yet again and again and again the same questions with different nuances until you really master the art of answering those questions very deeply and very quickly. You become a better advisor, joyfully. So the, the, the journey to get there is not necessarily simple or fast. I started on this journey uh, many years ago, and I started doing it also in English, which is not my native language. Uh, my native language is French. I can speak. I can speak other language. I can speak a little bit of German, uh, some Polish. I understand Italian and, and Spanish. I was raised and grew up in Europe, so I was exposed to many languages. But English was the language I picked to build the skill, the the practice of meaningful content creation. And whether that wasn't easy, because guess what? <laughs> I really felt like I couldn't express myself in the beginning. My English was not as fluent as it is today. And I really had a hard time uh, making myself clear, making myself even understood. So think about deepening my thinking. I was not even uh, close to that yet. So it's a, it's, it's a process. It's a process that I also, uh, I'm working on mapping out. And as of today, I've identified uh, four levels of um, conscious or proficiency towards the mastery of uh, meaningful content publication. And so here are those first level. At first, you're at level one. And at level one, at this stage, and this is, I'm gonna read the statements that you may tell yourself. And based on those four statements, you can decide where, where is it that you are in your journey to uh, meaningful content publication. So level one is, at this stage, I am inactive. I don't engage in this practice. I may have ideas or interests, but I have not started publishing content or publicly exploring my thoughts and vocation. So nothing is really happening there. That stage is not, not a judgment. Don't hear, please hear me out. <laughs> don't take it as a as a as a as something that judges your you know judges you like what i'm trying to say here is that you may be at that stage several times in your career in your life because it depends on the topics you want to cover it depends on the discipline and on how you do it uh i was sharing with a client today that i'm also an artist a musical artist i'm a pianist and i've played extensively professionally i've played around the world I've recorded and uh, until a couple of years ago, I was publishing um, videos on YouTube of myself, on not on YouTube, sorry, on Facebook of myself playing. But today, as of 2023, uh, I am inactive. I mean, I used to be very active. It used to be my 
uh, my passion. It is still my passion, but currently for different reasons, uh, I have other priorities. Uh, I decided that this is, uh, I am in inactive. So I don't engage in this practice. Does this mean that I'm not a good musician? Does this mean that I'm not able to do it? Not, not at all. It's just right now, I don't do that. So, so I'm saying this so that you understand that this is maybe just a phase in your journey, in your, in your growth pa pattern, in your growth path. So level one is you're inactive. Level two, I'm going to read the statement to you. I have tried or begun to create and publish content focusing on self-expression and connecting with my audience. However, I still feel like content publication is a chore and an activity for which I don't feel qualified or legitimate. At that stage, you will find yourself giving yourself all sorts of excuses to not publish meaningful content. It's too long. It's too costly. I try a little bit and I hire, I have hired some help, but it's not great enough. It's not perfect enough. So I'm delaying, I'm delaying the time when I'm going to publish. I don't really have a cadence yet because I'm, I'm just beginning and that's fine. That's okay. But here is where you could go next, which is level three. At level three, you will tell yourself, hopefully something like this. I am gaining confidence. I'm gaining confidence in my ability to express myself authentically. And I have started to build a narrative that aligns with my mission and audience needs. I feel detached from the outcomes of my publications. So I'd like you to notice a couple things here. I have started to build a narrative that aligns with my mission and audience needs. Meaningful content creation is not just about marketing. It fuels the entire narrative of your business or your organization. And the goal and the, the, the chance, the opportunity that you have with meaningful content publication is to align it, align your, your, your work, align your professional services firm with the wants of your market because by explaining over and over, clarifying over and over, repeating the same ideas, exploring the same questions, you get to the nuances and you send a signal that your audience notices. And then you can tell if you align with them. So that's the first part here at level three is you figure this out. You figure it out what to talk about how to talk about it with what voice, what style, and you've got we've gotten responses, response from uh, from your audience. The second aspect of it that I want to highlight here is I feel detached from the outcomes of my publication. So whether you get a million like on your latest LinkedIn post or nothing, it doesn't matter to you because you don't do it just for that. You also recognize the value that it brings to you as a professional. So as of today, personally, this is where I am. I am at level three and I've really gained a lot of confidence and my alignment with my audience is starting to show up, starting to, I'm starting to feel like I've got, I can tell now who is impacted by uh, the content that I publish, the ideas that I share. I can see a profile of the type of ideal clients that I can serve. Uh, they are experts on a mission. They are leadership teams of forward-thinking, visionary uh, professional services firms that want to align and gain traction. They are learners. They are curious leaders. Um, do I feel detached from the outcomes of my publication all the time? Not always. I have to recognize that sometimes I just can't wait to see if uh, my emails what was my email and my email list was was open by how many people well yeah but i'm working on it i know that i want to go beyond the stage where it'll be it'll be uh it'll be just this fine you know whether i have a great open rate or not currently i do have a great open rate on my email list it averages 45 percent uh, 45 something which is way more than normal, when way more than industry average. 45% of the people I send my email to on average open my email. The industry average for consulting, for instance, is about 10%. So it means that there is something happening here. 
And for a good reason. I've been consistent at it. I've been frequent at it. I publish currently three times a week uh, when I'm not on a content sabbatical like I was last week. But here is the level I am aspiring to be uh, you know, in the future. Level four. Level four of meaningful content creation is when you tell yourself the following narrative. My content publication practice is a lifelong ministry and, and a service of love to humanity. It is how I cultivate expertise and understand my mission. It helps me grow authentically and build a stronger business. At that stage, meaningful content creation, meaningful content publication is just second nature. It's normal. It's a joy. You have completely uh, aligned and connected why you do it and how you do it. Sometimes I do feel like I am there, but I'm maybe between level three and level four for some aspect. I do feel like this is an activity and a practice that I will continue to do for the rest of my life. I really enjoy it. And the more I do it, the more ideas I have. It's not because I have a lot of ideas that I publish a YouTube video almost every business day. It's because I publish a YouTube video almost every business day that I have a lot of ideas. It's the opposite. Reverse, reverse it. Flip the narrative on its head. Flip the narrative about meaningful, flip the narrative about content on its head so that your practice becomes meaningful content publication. I hope this helped and I look forward to seeing you publish more content in a meaningful way in a way that aligns with people, in a way that fulfills your dream, in a way that impacts and resonates deeply with your audience. Thank you.